Welcome to DSTV Roundtable with me, Donovan Goliath. I am here with some of your favorite local DSTV superstars. Imagine there was a time capsule, right? And this time capsule will be opened in a hundred years' time. Sure. You can put in a show or a movie, right? That you feel deserves to go in this capsule that you would like somebody to experience in a hundred years' time because it is absolutely sure. going to change their life. It's going to move them. It's going to inspire them entertain them, whatever it is. You could put something in there. It could be yours, but it could also be somebody else's. What is that show going to be and sure. why? Show or a movie, hey? Yep. What you said. Sam. Ah. <laughs> Me, I'll start but... with you. Okay, sure, eh, eh. I'm still thinking, what could it be? Hey, what could it be? When you say show, you mean like that's on television or mm. any kind of show? Could on television. Like festival. Aye. Hmm. I give you we're dealing with a television platform here. Mm. Okay, let me, let mm. me. Can you move on? To I'll move on. I'll move on because <laughs> uh, a bishop looks it. like he knows exactly what he wants to say. I would definitely recommend my show mm. because I believe there's nothing new. Uh, there have been the same crisis 10 years ago yes. that I'm solving now, it's just that it came in different ways. So Riyadh Sotela would be more relevant even in 100 years to come. There will always be somebody that has got a problem that needs somebody to intervene. Mm. I yeah. think I agree. Mm. I think I agree. You know, and they, they, they'll definitely be something that people will relate to in definitely. 100 years time, absolutely, sure. to your show. Divan. A movie, uh, definitely uh, The Green Mile. Um, does it make sense? Has anybody watched that? Yeah, The Green Mile, a long yeah, time ago, yeah. Hands down. So um, it celebrates humanity, it f highlights injustice, it, 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 it talks about everything that I am incredibly passionate about. And whether you show that movie now or whether you show that in 100 years, it's, it's going to resonate with someone. That movie, I've, I've watched it seven, eight times. It's, it's, you know, it's they didn't win Oscars for it. Really? No, Tom Hanks and Michael yeah. Clark Duncan. Yeah. Sure. They yeah, didn't want Oscars for it. Yeah, it's my favorite. It's crazy. Movie. And it's incredible. Yeah. Mm. yeah. So it's just that, just the Green just Mile. That. That's so, it. okay. So you feel the Green Mile would be relevant in 100 years' time. Absolutely. And whoever picks up this capsule, this is what you have to watch. Absolutely. It's a very good choice. It's a very good choice. Carla? Well, um, I would, uh, you know, I love local content and, and the just the talent of South Africans. I mean, sometimes we don't even know how good we are at, at know, creating know, right? things. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta remind myself. <laughs> Every day. Every single day that, look, you. But you know, there's, there's this guy, the South African chef, um, Jan. Mm -hmm. So he won a Michelin star and he has a show on channel 147. Um, I think it's coming back now very, very soon. And yeah, it's kind of Mich the the first um, South African Michelin star chef, and he opened a restaurant in France. And the South African crew then went to go shoot at his restaurant in Nice. And just the cinematography, the way the yeah, camera cool. angles go, the South African music that's that's in the the show, um, the South African singers singing different languages like French on the show. It's just beautiful to see. When you watch that show, you just feel like you want to sit with a glass of Cup Classique in your hand. It's just, it's a movie, but it's it's a normal show. But it you feel like you're being transported to a different world. And for for people to, to watch that over 100 years is going to be amazing. And this guy is from a farm in Middleburg. Yeah. And he wasn't exposed to anything growing up, but he took what he was exposed to and took it to the world. Yeah which is eight, amazing. Eight years ago, he was the second guy that I interviewed on my show. 
Is eight it? years ago, and he just just opened up the restaurants, yeah. and it's uh, people just knew that there was something in him. Yeah. It's, uh, his story is amazing. And he amazing. serves South African wine yeah. in his French restaurant um, for you know when people have desserts in South African restaurants, mm. like these fancy things. He gives the French people um, uh, Oma Biscuit. Oh wow! Yeah. And they or love a cook it. Sister. Oh, cook or, sister. Yeah, it's incredible. Um, oh, milk or, or something. Does he still call it cook sister? Or um, so. sister. Yes. <laughs> was that your French accent? <laughs> you sounded like the Godfather. I, knew I shouldn't Take make a joke in front of Donovan. <laughs> that was your. Fr that was the best French accent you could have pulled out. <laughs> this sounds like a very interesting show, and I can't believe I've never seen it before. Um, and I also can't believe that Jan is the only South African chef with a Michelin star. Is yeah, this true? That's right. Yeah. Wow. Anyway. Mm. I think there was one recently, but he's also not working around. Yeah, so, but Jan was definitely the first one. Wow. Yeah, but the show's coming back soon, I think. Excellent. What is the show called? Jan. Oh, just like that. Just, just Jan. Mm. <laughs> right up there. Seal, Madonna, Jan. Yeah. Love it. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> wow. Shimza as well. Yeah. Boom. One name. Shimza, how about you, bro? I what is that show that <laughs> people in a hundred years' time need to watch? I'm, I'm gonna document my story. Ah, oh, this yeah. is a nice different take. This I'm gonna, is a I'm gonna nice document take. my story yeah. because I've, I've come from just being an ordinary young boy from a township mm. that, that just didn't become a DJ and that was it. I took the access that the DJing and my, and my music gave me and turned it into a business and expanded through 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 the music into other aspects of life, you know. Um, I didn't just say I'm going to be a DJ, so therefore my primary business is just selling music and performing. I was like, I'm gonna use this access to open up a restaurant that I'm going to DJ at and use my influence to drive people to that place. I'm going to use my influence as a DJ to open up a, a restaurant that would ordinarily be in Midrand or in, K or in Kempton Park or in Santin and bring it into the township so that it can um, play a role in the township economy of Tembisa. We look at what's happening in Soweto and You've got your Villa Gazi streets and you've got the malls that they're building there with all the big franchise um, restaurants. And you're like, why, why are we as people in the townships not seeing the opportunity that these big franchises are seeing in the township? Mm. You know, ordinarily you would think the money is in, is in town, but the brands that started in town are coming to the hood. So therefore, the money is in the township, you know? So when, when I look at what I've done with my career where I'm an international DJ that has a festival as big as a ultra music festival for, for people in the township, which is a festival that raises money for kids to have school shoes for the next year. So I feel like I didn't just use the music that that I started with mm. and, and just ended it there. You know, I took that a, like a notch up. Mm. Mm. Look at Divan in awe. No, I'm in total awe. Yeah. In total awe. Yeah. That's... <laughs> Trust your dopeness. And dude, you know what, dude? I must, like, massive round of applause because uh, one man show and the, 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 the drive behind it, you know, donating of the school shoes, that's a huge deal because it's not just 20 or 30 pairs. We're talking numbers here. So shout out to you, bro, and kudos. And that's, that was such a nice, such a nice, um, exa not example, that's like, I think it's a perfect thing to fit into this capsule because, I mean, you know, if we can keep inspiring people and passing on that baton and, and keep motivating people to do and uh, give as much as you give, that's timeless. So shout out to you. Amazing. Okay, so what do we have in the capsule at the moment? What is in here? So we've got we've got Shimzo's documentary. We have got Yan's Yan. uh, show. We have got the Green Mile, and then we have 
I haven't given Oh, you haven't answer. given one. Oh, yes, you haven't given one. And then we have Sam <laughs> that still needs to give one. Mm -hmm. uh, we have got uh, Bishop's, mm -hmm. Bishop's show over there. These are really great suggestions, by the way. I think these all live very well together. Yes, Sam, what is yours? All right, there's one show which was presented by, what's his name again, that guy? Is it Ivan Kozawad? Ivan Kozawad. Uh, not Ivan Kozawad, <laughs> sorry. Uh, what's that guy's name? Ivan, though. Ivan something. I even forgot the name of the show. But it was more of a root kind of thing. Like, uh, people would write there, as much as they know their grandparents yeah. and some of their forefathers, but they wanted to know where they originated from. Okay. So it actually takes them back to them finding out that maybe there were white people before in the family, um, there were Khoisans and all that mixture, you know, all that. So yeah, I'll definitely um, choose that one so that um, people don't get lost later on in life. Like I Love said it. before, that you need to know yourself in order for you to know where you're driving yourself to. Love it. Great one. I think it fits perfectly. And last but not least, Pilani. Thank you. I got so much time to think and think yeah, and change my answers and then go, yeah, okay, she covered that part. <laughs> oh, man, I would have to say the Black is King movie. It is, to date, the biggest pan-African collaboration that we've ever seen. Mm. And if we are so seeking this unity of Africa, I think in 100 years it would be good to see where it began, where the revolution started. It has redemption, restoration, and representation. To see ourselves represented and done by ourselves, not appropriated, is important. And also, um, there are, are all these issues around, I guess I spoke about it a lot because it's kind of like my next folklore topic, <laughs> is African spirituality. When I went to Cuba, which I see, you know, Jay-Z and Beyonce seem to have also been influenced, is when you get into the culture of the Eurishas, which is, um, the, I guess, the gods in, in Yoruba culture from, uh, you know, kind of Afro-Cuban culture, which is, uh, comes from Nigeria in, in, in descent. And you get into the Catholicism that, was, that influenced the two practices and how they practice. It's actually quite similar across the continent as well. So if you look at the Zionist church here, we can actually start to trace ourselves back and also the origins of religions without dispelling relig religion or spirituality, you know, in its distorted form and go into the color schemes. You know, you could start seeing the representations of elements, fire, water, you know, so the colors are the same, the blue, the red. So it's quite an educational piece of work. Um, it's, a re it's a piece of work that, you know, really encourages African unity, but also don't take something from a place. Don't, you know, extrapolate it. Go and ask the people who are immersed in it to do the work. And you know, we're always constantly crying, if we're gonna have a movie about Africa, why aren't Africans acting in it? Why must um, Blood Diamond, what is his name, trying to give an a South answer. African oh, accent? Uh, Leonardo. Leonardo DiCaprio, you know? And I, I think it's a turn of something, and that was just last year. And so I'd love to see in 100 years from, time, from now, that reference point and what we can learn from it. And I mean, honestly, it connected South to West Africa, to the diaspora, uh, that's incredible. I think that we can close this capsule. This is absolutely fantastic. Ladies and gentlemen, um, massive round of applause to all of you. Those are, give yourselves a round of applause. Yes, 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 yes. Absolutely fantastic suggestions over there. Um, hopefully, if you are, by some miracle, still alive in 100 years' time, I think there's definitely something um, that can motivate, inspire, entertain you, whether you are old or young. <laughs> you see what I, you see how, you see how I did nothing? No young? reaction? No re I was gonna jump into this capsule myself, but as soon as I was just like, no, not at all. It's fine, it's fine. But think about this. are always a trap. Yeah, a huge trap. Oh, I feel the same way. I'm like, it's a trick, don't oh, answer yeah. it. It's a the trap. time, because you mentioned one person, mm. and then someone else was like, but why not me? Oh, you can yeah. put yourself in that capsule, eh? <laughs> no, it's, I'll, I'll, leave, I'll leave myself out of it. Um, actually, I'm, I'm gonna say this with my gut, right? It's, it's not a performance, but there is a performer, a young man, who I have been obsessed with for quite some time. I am obsessed with Palance Lala. Ah. 
his performance, like just watching, it's uh, he's just phenomenal for me. Always. Is it the performance though? No, it totally is the performance. Um, mm, must no, check. No, no, it totally, it, it totally is um, the performance. But like, I'm I'm always just very. I, so I love performance, right? And I love watching performers and their processes, their techniques. Um, you know what I mean? Like, I get very excited by the choices they mm. make. You know what I mean? Like, that just, oof, you know what I mean? There's something about that that really excites But, like, working me. with them? Like, being on set with them or watching on, them? On set, watching them. Because there's also, like, so much that you learn just by watching a performer. Mm. You know what I mean? Even like, um, yeah, just, just by watching, seeing the choices that they will make with, with each, like with each beat, right? Because, I mean, a scene can be written as a crying scene, but there's various ways that you can play that, right? Yeah. You know what I mean? How do Just because you, you're sad doesn't mean you have to cry. Exactly, yeah. Um, and I have just been, I don't know, I've, I've been excited about Palance the first day I saw him. So Palance is going in your capsule. Palance is going in the capsule. Palance is in the capsule. Here's Palance. Okay, here's the capsule. Here's the capsule. capsule. Put Palance him in. Palance in the capsule. Fair enough. I hope he survives yep. for a hundred <laughs> years. No, <laughs> we have Palance in the Very capsule. Tight yeah. space. So who Pity. else? Who is going in there in the with, Palance? with Palance? Yes. <laughs> 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 Better be enough room in this capsule. Tiger Woods in Tiger. Documentary. Oh. oh. Tiger, okay. he, Tiger Woods played a Tiger. brilliant Tiger Woods. Okay. Tiger, really? Tiger Woods. Yeah. He's the one of the best Tiger Woods I've seen. My, my. <laughs> Out of all the no. Tiger Woods. Such no. a strange choice. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. He's, no, it's, I'm joking. I'm just hammering the point that everyone should watch Tiger. It's beautiful. Um, performance. Yo. I just, I just prepared the Tiger part for this answer um, in my mind now. I can come back to you. Let's come back, please. All right, Kim. <laughs> okay, so first question. Am I aging? Over these 100 years, or do I still, am I still me 100 years later? What, if you were the capsule? No, 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 I mean, I'm just not going to go with the capsule. That's why I'm taking it with me. No, you're you're passing it on to the next generation. Oh, am I passing it on to the next generation? Yes, this is like, in 100 years' time, somebody needs to experience this magic. Oh, okay. Then I would... I would put my husband in there, my retard. Really? Yeah, I think he's phenomenal. And he's, he has a great voice, and he does a million accents, and he's kind, and he's funny and rude, often, but mostly kind. Gonna get on well with Palance. I think those like, two are gonna like be... Like rock stars. Right? Yeah. So, okay. That's amazing. Yes, it's a beautiful Mary capsule. Is in the capsule. It's a lovely capsule. Yeah, this is a, I'm enjoying this capsule yes, so nice far. Capsule. Yeah. Andy? What do you say, ma'am? I'll put myself... Yes. That's oh, nice. oh, 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 and oh, yes. Myself with Siabonga Twala mm-hmm. as Cindy Zondo and Hendrik Zondo on The Republic, the very last episode. Mm. Yar, we poured it out. We gave it our all. It was dramatic. It was sad. It was all of the above. That was like a drop mic performance. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. Cool. Are they going in? Yeah. All three of you? No, two of us. Oh, just two of you. Oh, you and, oh, yes, of course. So it's Cindy and Hendrik. Of course, yes. Andy and Siabongatuan. 100%. Boom, in the capsule. We have four people now. This is a big capsule. I'm ready for my, can I quickly call mine in? Yeah. 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 Before it leaves. I love it, the fact that Kim made it personal. Do you know I'm going to throw in? Go for it. With Murray. My mom's also an actress. Yes. And she was in Kim with us in a series called Feinskrift. Yes. Yeah. On Kaiknet. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, and my mom played it. She was a very frail. She played a storyline that she became very frail. And she actually, in real life, my mom had to, uh, this is quite personal, but she doesn't mind. She had to have a double hip replacement in real life. And her character was going through extreme pain and trauma. So she kind of just pitched up and she actually had that pain. Mm. But the performance was beautiful. So can I call my mom? Yeah. Can I? Gently yeah, watch the hip. Watch yeah, watch the No, she got new hips. She oh, got okay. new hips. Yeah, yeah. Okay, <laughs> she got new hips. <laughs> this is nice. I like the it's diversity. A capsule. Yeah, this capsule really is looking it. amazing. Uh, Terera, what do you say, sir? I think I'd put Silo in. This 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 guy called Silo. Uh, he's in in 
I think he does a lot of theater, right? He does a whole lot of theater. But recently, he's in a hostel, Uomziki. I think you know him. Mm. He plays one of the detectives there. Uh, he's also in. He has like an yeah, Grace, a guy. Yeah, Grace a Yeah, Shiza, that he's guy. You don't have a relationship Yo. with him. <clears throat> I know. He Yo. am Leo. That guy. <laughs> That man is just something else. Yeah. He's, he's just something else, right? The, the first time I fell in love with acting was when I shared a stage with him, right? And, and every single what were you day, in together? Uh, 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 it's a show called, what was it? The Infidel. Yeah, we were doing a show called The Infidel at the State Theater. So I was still struggling. You know, it was this huge beast that I, that I didn't understand. And he made it so easy for me to understand. He made it so effortless because every scene that he was in, he was having the time of his life. You know, so, so literally every performance of that guy that I watch is just extraordinary. So I definitely put him in there. Oh, he's great. So, he's great. Can you see in the caption. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 He's so nice. Yeah. yeah. He's it's very generous of you. He's very nice. Yeah. This capsule, it's, it's basically a quantum. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Right? So mm. we've got, like, what about two spaces left now? Shannon. Who is going into those so capsules? I'm going to throw a real spanner in the way. Oh. Okay. Whoa, here we go. Bradley Cooper's performance in A Star Is Born for me mm. is possibly one of the most beautiful performances by any actor. And I was so devastated when he wasn't even nominated for Best Actor. Um, he was nominated for Best Director, but... It's true, actually. His performance was just so... Mm, just magic. ...subtle and pained and magnificent. And I've watched the film three times now, and even just the quality of his voice, he gave himself this grit in his voice, in his body, his posture. When I think of the first time that I saw him in Wedding Crashes, you know, sack, you know, yeah, yeah, you're yeah. a sack. The creep guy. Okay, <laughs> and then you look at this, this troubled musician, this artist who encourages a young woman to be very clear and distinctive about what it is that she wants to say. I think I also just love the story of A Star Is Born and I've watched each and every one of them. Um, I just think, I think, as I think it is, it is a masterclass in acting. Bradley Cooper in. That's uh, it's an interesting man. capsule. It's yeah. This is a very interesting capsule. Who would you throw in the capsule? Oh no. You can't throw me in there. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I'm saying, I'm just like, uh, uh, let me just think about no, this. Uh, no, this is we very can difficult. We can come back to you, we can come back to you. Come yeah, much later. Much later, like Because I think this capsule is going to go and 20. go, oh, we forgot somebody. Yes, yes, we come, come back. back for yours. I'm feeling like that now. Oh, yeah. really? No, like we're going to wanna... make a round trip. We're going to come back, pick up some more people. Okay. Yeah. Capsule's coming back. Cool. Ready to, you ready to seal this thing up and let it go? Yeah, we yeah. can let it go. Going on a U turn. Okay, I'm, I'm sealing. So the if capsule. my husband goes now, is he going? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, a, it's just, a, uh, uh, it's just a, like a clone his digital soul, his soul performance. performance. His, yes. He's still going to be home. Don't his, worry. His, his kindness. Oh. Yes. Is yes. He that's what we are. He's gone. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Okay. Are, are we going to do a countdown? Yes. I think we should. Right? Five, okay. five, four, four, three, two, one. Watch. Wow, look at it go ahead, guys. Look. There it goes. Wow. Go, go for it. Go for it. See in a hundred years. And inspire. Hi, Bradley. TV Roundtable. I am Donovan Goliath. If you no. happen to be alive in a hundred years' time, please do go and check all of these performances out. There might be one major performance by all of them in this capsule. Right? This oh might my be a complete God. crossover. Yep. Of things. Absolutely. Who even knows? You, Who could, even knows? you could put me Who in the if you want. Oh, you want to jump in as no, well? No, I'm saying for you. If Off you me. want if you want to put me in there, you can. <laughs> okay. Yeah. To I'll, preserve. I'll put all of you guys. Oh, <laughs> okay, now. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Go in that capsule. What a man. Hey, what a guy. You're hey, capsule. You're you're capsule. Capsule. You're you're capsule. Everybody gets That's really absurd. <laughs> Please make sure to check out a lot of the performances that these guys have spoken about. Uh, you could potentially catch them on DSTV, if not on the DSTV app. And also do let us know in the comments section who you would put in this capsule. Say me. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? you know? Make your life easy. You know? I'm here. Take care. Do enjoy. This is DSTV Roundtable. I'm Donovan Goliath. Bye.